Hello, my name is Victor Kaula. Today I just want to share with you an experience that I have had over this week. I was editing a project. It was supposed to take me only for three hours. But because we made a mistake on the day we were shooting the video, it took me almost three days trying to edit the project. It was not easy because we were trying to correct a mistake which happened. It would have been easier for us to correct the mistake the time we were shooting, but because we did not realize, we ended up spending on three days working on that project. So when I was struggling, trying to finish the project, an idea came up in my mind. I was just thinking about the Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve, when they were in the garden, God told them that you can eat from any tree, but there was one tree that they were told not even to eat the fruit from it. God told them that if you eat a fruit from that tree, you will surely die. But it, it happened that after some time, now they were in the garden, after being enticed by the devil who came through a serpent, they were enticed and ate the forbidden tree. It looked very simple, easy for them just to eat, but the consequences, the impact of that affected the entire generation. Today, we are living in a sinful world. We have wars. The first impact was felt by the family. Their elder brother killed the younger brother, and the death came. They were chased. They were taken out of the Garden of Eden. And now the problem started from there. From the moment they sinned, it did not only affect them, it affected the whole humanity. The whole creation was affected. The leaves started falling. Animals started eating each other. Because the way God created things, they created them perfect. But now today we are suffering. We have wars. We have hunger. We have a lot of problems in this world because of a mistake. If they had a good time, to make a good decision today wouldn't have had the problems that we are having. Therefore, my plea is that God wants us to seek him first. On Matthew 6, verse 33, the Bible says, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all the things you need shall be added unto you. If Adam and Eve sought first God, they would have waited and said, okay, God is coming. My wife is telling me that we have to eat this forbidden tree. Before we eat, Bo, before I eat, God should come and help us. Maybe they would have controlled this situation. As it happened when we were shooting the video, we did not pay attention to a small detail, but that mistake had costed me for three days to work on a project. Much as I tried to correct the situation, but there was still a mark that I can see in it that here there was a problem. In other words, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. That's the reason why I'm saying the sin that Adam and Eve did, it costed the heaven, it costed the Godhead for Jesus Christ to come here on earth. He was born, he grew like a mere baby, and finally Jesus Christ was crucified. He was crucified trying to edit, to correct the situation that happened. Jesus Christ died on the cross. His death is so precious, but we are still living with the traces of sin. That's why we are dying. The only time that we will be reinstated the original nature that God wanted us to have, it's when Jesus will come again. And he has given us hope. On John 3 verse 16, he says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have an eternal life. Therefore, after we mad, after we made a mistake, God has given us a second chance. If we accept him as our personal savior, a day is coming when Jesus will come, he will appear in the clouds, and those who trust in him will be taken to heaven, where they will have eternal life, where the joy that Adam and Eve enjoyed in the Garden of Eden will be restored in the new Eden that is prepared for you and me. I urge you, my brothers and sisters, that we should stop making hasty decisions. Before we make any decisions, we should look at the impact of a decision we are making because it will affect us, 
it will affect our family, it will affect the entire nation, even the whole earth will be affected by our decisions. Before you decide, invite Jesus Christ. Seek first the kingdom of God. Seeking first, it means to ask him for guidance, because if we ask him for guidance, we'll be sure that the decisions we will make will be rational and they'll be good to us, to our families, to our friends, and even to God, because God should be the first priority in our life. If you want to please anybody here on earth, we have to please first God before we please ourselves, even the people that are significant to our lives. May God bless you and may God help you to make good decisions that will bring us closer to God. You are with me, Victor Kaula. Please remember that you have to subscribe to this channel because once you subscribe, you get the updates of all the videos that will be uploaded on this channel. Thank you.